Hi guys, this is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video in YouTube and how are you today? So today's video is about something amazing that I want to explain to you. So basically, three days ago, I have been asking in the community on my YouTube channel about the next video. So you were choosing about how to get a professional portfolio. Okay, but here I want to revisit the title. It has to be how to build a professional portfolio. Okay, so I'm gonna show you about how can we create our work and our job or project or personal project, everything else become professional. So then the big companies such as Adobe, Facebook, Google, Twitter, or Amazon, Airbnb, and a lot of companies, the big companies will inter will interested to your project. Okay, so let's get started. So I want to start from zero. First of all, number one, you have to select your career. Either you are designer, developer, or the illustrator, or the animator, or else. Because what? We could not to focus on the multitasking job. Okay, so if you want to be powerful, powerful, you have to spend at least 10,000 hours in the one job. Like I do, I used to be developer. And then 2016, I changed my career. I changed my career to become designer until now. So you have to do like that because you have to focus on the main job. And the number second, you have to learn and adapt to a new technology. Why? Otherwise, you will leave behind of the technology. People are working in the blockchain, Bitcoin, and AI, AR, and then VR, and then a lot of things, but you're still doing the wooden things. How can the company can, uh, able to hire you? Because you don't have any a uh, growing mindset to adapt and learn something new in the technology because currently we are living in the uh, era of information it's not like uh, era of industry anymore so you have to focus your career and you have to adapt to the new technology and the third you have to try to build something from yourself it doesn't matter that things new or existing features but at least you try to learn to create by your own skills perhaps you can modify you can adding a new feature or you can changing the flow as well if you think the flow is not really good for the user and a lot of things that you can to do so just try to build something from your skills Okay, let's move on to the number four. So number four is about to learn to speak, to explain your idea through of YouTube, Medium, or personal website, or even you have the uh, offline workshop, you can explain your idea. Don't be afraid. Just try to speak uh, whatever matters for you explain your idea to the audience and then you have to learn how they are interact with your idea and or with your product and then you can learn from them so then after that listen to your customer it will improve your own product okay another step is five number five is to find the right a partner okay so here by example my career is designer so i have to find a partner who's developer or animator it depends on the project that i'm working on but mainly i'm working for the mobile application such as android for or ios so i have to find the developer i can't to focus on the design and the developer i don't want because it will 
uh, it will block your uh, your productivity. I mean, just focus on the main things. Okay, I'm designer. I have to find the right partner, uh, developer. So then after that, we can build the apps together. We can implement my idea together with the developer. So if you're developer, try to find a partner designer or try to find a partner, maybe another developer that able to design as well. So the last one is to publish your own app, your own portfolio. All right. So uh, a, a long time ago, I have been designed for teman kita. You can see the video in my YouTube channel, teman kita. And then I have published to the medium. I have to tell to my friend, even investor. And until now, investor uh, interested with my project, but I have to complete all of the business and the user of value. So publish your app, publish your idea, no matter what, how big or how small is this, because people will understand your idea and you will get a lot of feedback. So from that, you might will get the investor that interested with your project. So who knows? Or you can also apply a job in the big company with your own portfolio. But you have to ensure your portfolio is really, really uh, easy to understand. So you have to make the information clearly like in the medium or you can use the video or you can use the uh, what was that animation to explain the idea of the app okay guys so the conclusion is select your career and then focus on that at least one year and then find a partner to working together and then try to adapt a new technology because otherwise you will left behind and then after that uh, try to become the public speaker to explain your idea don't be afraid don't be a sam and then after that publish your app to the public and then the investor or user or even someone else able to use your product okay so this is from me and if you have something else that improve our uh, our tips for creating a professional portfolio you can let us know in the comment okay so we can discuss together okay guys so i hope it was useful and i hope you were enjoy the video and i'm sorry if i got a mistake else for the pronouns or grammar just let me know if you have any question and i have and i will try to answer your question so thank you very much don't forget to like comment and share with your friends nice to meet you from indonesia peace